What's up guys, it's me Sivo. Today I'm going to be telling you how to do some slash commands. It is pretty simple to do, but yeah, so we're going to get into it. First off, you're going to import everything I've imported here. So you're going to import Nextcord or Discord if you're using Discord. Import random from Nextcord, import interactions, slash options and channel types. I know I got that. And then you're going to do from Nextcord.abc import guild channel. And then from Nextcord.exe import the commands. And then you're just going to fill out this normal thing here. As you see here, I have done server ID. So we're gonna just get a, like, a variable with the server ID. So you get the server ID, it's pretty easy. Just go onto your thing here and just right click and then copy ID. You're gonna make sure your bot has all the privileged gateways intent. So just check them all here. As you see, I got that one checked, that one checked, that one checked. And then just add your bot to the server or re-add it if you've got it in there. And then you should be sorted. So anyways, let's get on to the actual uh, slash commands. Also, make sure you install the newest version of Netscode. Anyways, let's carry on. So first up, we're just going to do a normal ping slash command. Then we'll just uh, do like a little eight ball thing. And yeah, so anyways, let's go. So we're going to do eight at client dot slash command. And then we're going to give it a name. So we're going to call it ping. And then we're going to give it a description. And the description is just going to be this pong the user. And then we're just going to, so basically we're going to use the server ID. What this does, instead of waiting an hour for it out, the slash command to update in your server, it just updates it instantly. So we're going to put in an array as well. So we just do that and then server ID. So simple. And now we're going to do async uh, def. But it's normally the same as normal commands, it's just a little bit different. And then we're going to do interaction. And then semi so we on, and then we're going to do interaction. Make sure you do a capital I because it's got to be the same as this up here. And once you have done that, you're just going to do, instead of await ctx.send, we're going to be doing await interaction dot response dot send message. Um, if you want, you could just change this to ctx if it feels better, but I don't know. It's just easy if you do it like this. Well, it ain't easy, it's up to you. And then we're just going to put poll. Simple as that. Now that is literally all you have to do for slash ones. That is all, like that's it. Now, if we run the bot, I'll show you guys that it like works. Um, it's gonna say bot is online. I'm gonna go to um, here and we're just gonna click slash and you should see your bot on the left. And you're gonna see ping and then you're just gonna click enter and it's gonna say pong and yeah. So now we're gonna do slash uh, an eight ball thingy command thing. So you can put in a question and then it gives you the response. So I've got a bunch of responses here. You could just type it up on Google and it's just type it on Google. It's like really easy to, to find. To stop up literally able responses all right anyway so we're just going to copy all of this because i am lazy and we're just going to change it all to eight ball uh you can't do use numbers here so you're just gonna have to do eight ball and then this this um is a eight ball i don't know and then um in, and then we're gonna add interactions and then we're also going to do um get a string so uh question and then we're going to do str, simple as that. And then all we're going to do is import, I imported random already. So first we're just going to do s string. And then we're going to do, um, just make it look all right. We'll do user, user. And then um, just do brackets. And then we'll do the, uh, what the question you just said. And then um, we're going to make a new line. And then we'll do a uh, response, response, and um, the response will be random.choice, and it'll be the responses, won't it? So it gets a random response out there already. So I think that is literally all you have to do. So now if we just do this real quick. All right, now that is, I think that is it. That is everything. If we just do, um, go over to here. We've got that eight ball. If we don't put any questions, it won't let us uh, carry on. So we're just gonna say, am I cool? And it's gonna just go response. I should have put a space there, but it's gonna say concentrate and ask again. Okay, eight ball. Am I cool? Okay, <laughs> I somehow got the. <laughs> Am I cool? Reply hazy. Try again. Why is it telling me to try again? Well, stop telling me to try again. But anyways, you you get the point. It's it's pretty simple to do um slash commands. And you can put ifs else as long if you just do. Say you want to do an embed, for instance, and you can't do await ctx or send. Just do await interaction dot response send message embed equals embed. Simple. 
and yeah and just write it in bed how it's normally written and yeah so guys hope you guys enjoyed drop a like and subscribe and uh bye, -bye.